It's a shame to get rid of an unwanted car in this way at the end of its life, as it contains a large amount of valuable raw materials which are worth recovering. Today, old cars can be handed back to modern treatment facilities. Conveniently for the last owner, there are many treatment facilities across the country. In the past, about 80% of a car was recovered. The rest was sent to landfill. How can old cars be treated nowadays so previously unused raw materials can be recovered profitably? After the car is handed back, the recovery process starts. At the beginning, some manual work is needed. First, the battery is removed, as are the tires. Fuel, oil and other liquids are drained. Batteries and catalytic converters are removed for recycling. The airbags are safely ignited and disarmed. Dismantling and storing parts for resale is very expensive and is only worthwhile if the parts are in good condition and demand is high. The remanufacturing of engines, as done at Volkswagen's Castle plant, is only worthwhile if there is demand. Often, it's more beneficial to dismantle unwanted engines, gearboxes and other steel parts for separate shredding. The recovered material is used as ferrous scrap input in steel mills and as feedstock for high-grade steel. The remains of the old car are compacted to reduce transport costs. The Belgian scrap terminal, close to Antwerp, this is one of the first treatment plants to use the innovative Volkswagen Zikon process. First, the cars are crushed by a shredder. This reduces the car to small pieces. Magnets are used to remove iron, and other established processes remove other metals. In the past, the remaining shredder residues, consisting of plastics, glass and textile fibres, were sent to landfill. New technological developments in the field of material separation, like the Volkswagen Zikon process, make it possible to sort and reuse these materials. The process generates three basic products. Shredder granules, consisting of hard plastics, which used to be dashboards and interior components. Shredder fibres, generated from seat cushions and carpets. And shredder sand, which consists of glass, rust, paint particles and other fine-grade material. Linz, Austria. For First Alpina's steel mill, shredder granules are a valuable feedstock. They are used as a reducing agent for iron ore. Up to 220,000 tonnes of used plastics per year are injected into the molten iron to remove oxygen, leaving behind high-quality pure iron. Large amounts of fossil-based reducing agents, like coke or heavy oil, can be avoided. Emissions of carbon dioxide and sulphur dioxide are reduced significantly. Jump cut to Bottrop. In the Emscher Cooperative Sewage Sludge Treatment Facility, the shredder fibres find their final destination. In the mixing tank, fibres are mixed with the sludge to solidify the liquid material. The fibres replace fine ground coal, which would normally be used. The mixture is pumped into a diaphragm filter press and the water is squeezed out. 
The remaining cake is burned in a fluidized bed incinerator and generates electricity and heat. Klausthal in the Harz Mountains, the Institute of Mineral and Waste Processing at the Technical University. Further improvements are being developed to upgrade the shredder sand produced by the Volkswagen Zikon process. The goal is to separate the metals and minerals and reuse them in better ways. Step by step, the shredder sand is separated into its various materials. Separation of metallic and non-metallic substances promises new possibilities for future applications. New treatment processes have the potential to give waste a new value. A change of thinking has taken place, away from seeing waste as inconvenient towards seeing waste as a valuable resource. Developing innovative solutions to capture this resource shows how environmental thinking is part of Volkswagen's culture. <laughs>